Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how I installed and customized this wig. This is from Ulyssa Hair. It's their 30 inch curly wig. It's a 13 by 4 frontal. I'll give y'all more details throughout the video, but I'm going to be showing y'all how I install it. So in the bag, they gave me a wig cap, which is too dark for me, but I could probably use it for someone else. And they also gave me a pair of lashes. So to start off, I used my BW2 powder and my 40 volume developer to bleach the knots for about 15 minutes, 13 minutes, somewhere around there. And then I'm going to be showing y'all how I pluck my wig. So I use these like kind of flat top tweezers. This is a tweezer man tweezer. They're somewhat expensive, but they are really, really good quality. So I start by spraying a section and then I part out a small piece of hair in the front and I would then brush that back and start plucking that section and I work my way back. I'll probably do like four or five sections and then I'll brush the hair that y'all see that's in the front all the way back to see how the hairline looks and I'll just complete those steps over and over again throughout the entire wig working in small sections like this one. A quick tip is just when you're plucking, especially if you're plucking for the first time, the biggest tip I can give y'all is not to pluck in the same spot. So just make sure you're just always moving your tweezer because if you keep plucking in the same spot, you will have a bald spot in your wig. So you don't want that. So as y'all can tell, I'm brushing the hair back to see how it looks. And from there, I just decide if I need to pluck more, if I can move on to the next section. And when I'm done plucking, I just do touch-ups and see what parts need to be plucked again. And kind of just keep going until you get your desired look. I'm going to show y'all how much hair came out from plucking and what difference it makes. But to mold it, I just use got to be in a hot comb. All right, y'all, I'm back with my bald cap on. So y'all know what that means. I'm about to install this wig. Shout out to you, Alyssa Hair, for sending over this wig. So I'm not sure if I showed y'all the finished product or not, but I did tint the lace. I plucked it and bleached the knot. So this is what my hairline is looking like right now. I did my bald cap off camera. I put the makeup on it and all that good stuff already. All you really need is a bald cap and and you also need some got to be so i pretty much just did two layers let both dry i put makeup on it and i cut it off and here we are i'm about to go ahead and install this like i said this is going to be a voiceover so i'm just going to let y'all watch so let's go ahead and get started After I place my wig where I want it to be, I take my ghost bond and do cap skin, cap skin, and I use a rat tail comb to smooth it out. I did two layers of this, letting both layers dry clear, and then I pulled my lace down and did this for the entire hairline. <laughs> After I place the lace in the glue, I'm going to just take a hard brush and a comb to really make sure that it's melted in and repeat the same steps on both sides.
so this is pretty much what it looks like now i'm parting the hair y'all can see that the plucking really helped a lot it just makes the hairline look a lot more natural and less bulky so i decided to do a middle part i know in my last video i said i was going to do a no part look but i really just wanted to do a middle part again i don't know y'all i'm just like obsessed with middle parts right now After that I just cut my lace off. I didn't feel like y'all need to see that because y'all see it in every wig video but then I put on my elastic band to really melt it in and I went on to styling the actual hair after that. <music> this is what it looks like i'm gonna just use this this is the carefree curl y'all know this is what i use for my curly wigs the hair is more of like a wave that's why i was really like wanting to wet it to see like what kind of curl it would be yeah but once it dries it's definitely gonna be more curly right now it's just like a wet and wavy kind of look so this is the hair shout out to you Lisa, for sending over this super super cute wig i'll have all the wig information and details in the description box so click if you guys are interested in purchasing this hair it's super super pretty super long really good quality the lace was good quality the wig was good quality thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and sending over this hair i love it and yeah, I hope y'all love it too. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the full length of this. And I'll also, I have the Instagram of the outfit that I'm wearing listed in the description box. And I'll have it on the screen as well if y'all are interested. It was actually made for me, so that's super cool. But yeah, I'm going to show y'all the full length. Thank y'all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'll have a positive quote at the end of the video. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.